All right, third grade. We are going to be working in your art workbook today. Oh, well, we're at least going to start here and then we'll move on to something else. So at this point, you should have colored in your cover and sent me a picture of that um, so I can see it. It doesn't have to look like mine, um, but it should at least look cool. And I want it to represent you, however you think it best represent you. And don't forget to include your name on it. If you missed that lesson, it's in the module from last week. You can watch that video. But this week, I just want to get us started on the elements of art. So you're going to turn to this page in your art workbook. And this just says the elements of art. The very first element of art that we're going to work with today is line. We're going to be using line and we're going to be creating an abstract line drawing. Abstract means it's not necessarily meant to look like anything in particular. It's one of my favorite things to do. I It's called Zen Doodle and I actually doodle all the time um, in the corners of my paper. Um, if I'm taking notes in class, if I'm bored, if I'm stressed out, I will usually stop and Zen Doodle and it helps relax me. So enjoy. Do you love to color? Me too. Coloring can relieve stress, calm you down when you're upset, and be loads of fun. But coloring books can also get expensive real quick. Yikes! You can download them and print. But the ink costs money too and you need a printer. So, let's learn to make our own coloring pages. This is a meditative drawing technique called Zen Doodle. Some people also call it Zen Tangle, but it's the same thing. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil. First, just draw a box around the edge of the paper. You're just making a border for your drawing. Don't worry, it doesn't need to be perfect. Mine isn't. Next, you'll need to divide your box into sections. I usually do this by choosing five different types of lines. A zigzag line, a castle line, a straight line, a curved line. Be sure the beginning and end of your lines touch the edges of your box. Now, fill each shape you made with a pattern. It can be anything. Patterns are things like stripes or polka dots. Be sure to fill the whole area and don't overthink. It doesn't need to be perfect. And don't just copy what I do in the video. Be original, be creative. Think of your own cool things to do. I even decided to draw a face. And if you can't think of any patterns, look around your house for inspiration. Don't forget to always sign and date your work. Fabulous job! If that was tricky for you, don't fret. It's just practice. Maybe on your second try, only make three different lines instead of five or even try starting with a smaller box. Or pick simpler patterns to fill your shapes with. Here's how I added finishing touches to my Zen Doodle from today. 
First, I outline my penciled lines with a simple black ink pen. Then I went over the whole thing and erased all the pencil lines. I decided to turn my doodle into a card to give to a friend, so I cut out around it. And then I colored it in. Wahoo! The end. See you again next week.